what's up, what's up, what's up? You already know who it is. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. And today we are gonna create this thing from scratch in Unreal Engine. So before I start, um, I will say I know there are some tutorials I have to upload on the channel. Yeah, especially about meta human animation. So um, I still have that in mind and I will upload that, I promise. So before we start, I just want you all to know you can just hit us up on Fiverr and if you got any gigs, you can just throw it up to us and we will get it done. So you know, I always got my eardrums filled up, so I'm listening to Stefan Sanchez Evangeline. So let's just get up and running with it. Okay, so before we start, I will just um, create a new project and I will go for the simulation preset and you just name it whatever you want to name it. So when you are done and you just have your scene and make sure your reference is always by you so you keep checking up your reference. So I will just create a new uh, folder where I will import my assets. I will import my clothes that I made from Marvelous Designer and I will upload a tutorial about how I made the clothes in the video. So that's gonna be another tutorial, I mean how I made this cloth. So I already got the textures, so I will just right click and I will create material. So I will just drop the material on, on it and yeah. So I have to plug in all the material sets that um I actually made it from Substance Painter, so so to uh, plug in your material set is really easy. This is the normal map, and I will j connect the normal map to the normal slot. And I have the ambient occlusion, roughness, and, and metallic. So I'll just drop that and. Um, I will connect this one to the ambient occlusion and I'll connect this one to the roughness and this one to the metallic and um, yeah that's all so this is when I have to start building my scene but before I start building my scene you need to get a, a real scale so I use a meta human mannequin to get um, an actual skill before I start building up my assets so you this is really important because if you don't do this you mostly get things out of shape and you might not understand why your scene is um, not really looking good because your skill are not really accurate you understand as um, as we move on so I will create this um, box this uh, cube or box whatever you want to call it and I will make it just like that and I will place on a texture from the Mega Scans assets, which will actually be the ground where um, my main um, character, that's the cloth, will be, um, I mean the dress, will be on, will be sitting on. So I'm trying to place it on and it's actually getting inside the floor. So. Actually, there's a way to do that if you don't want it, if you really want it to sit on the floor. But I will first um, duplicate the floor because it's all about just duplicating it to make, um, to um, fill the place. All right. So you see, I'll select both and I'll duplicate that again. All right. So I will select the, um, the cloth and I will just try and place it. Uh, in the middle just right there and here all you you see is still um, getting through so what you got to do is you press E and D the end key and it will just sit on the floor not the end but the E and D key on the keyboard you just press that one and it will literally sit on the floor right so this is where I will start to um, rebuild my asset but I first have to tile the floor 
um, two times so I actually made it two and I'll save it so after I save it and don't worry about if some patterns repeat because we will be painting foliage over um, the floor so I will try and import my first asset from the mega scans library there are ton of assets in the mega scans library you can just get any any one that you want to create whatever you want so you see I placed it in and this is the real skill so if you don't have um, actual skill it, it will be a problem if you when you start and you and you don't have actual skill you have to be scaling things blah 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 and which will be um, a pain in the neck for you and you don't really want to do that so I will recommend that before you drop in your first asset um, make sure you have um, a mannequin or a meta human to just compare your um, asset with so you really know the actual skill you are dealing with all right so you don't really get confused okay so I, I just got in another asset and I'll place that right just there and I will again duplicate these ones so you just see it's all about duplicating it it's um, nothing fancy so you just connect it so it seems like it can fill all um, the spaces right there so for this tutorial I really want to go um, low on this one so everybody can really um, understand what's going on so after I do that I will duplicate it to the other side and I will have to duplicate it to the um, right, left side again okay so I will bring in another asset and I will try and place the asset on top of the right asset that I, I brought in so I will definitely rotate this asset and I will try and position this asset as best as I can so this is just um, a matter of just trying to build your own scene by yourself but you have to start with uh, a reference because you need reference to start with because if you don't have a reference it will just I mean you can just build from I mean from your imaginations but mostly you, you need a reference right so I will drop in another one and I will place it just beside this one right here so gradually we are filling up our scene and yeah just right there so I will bring in another scene to just give it a wall at the back of my main character so you can see it's really not that much big so and I don't want to scale it so what I will do is I will have to duplicate um, tons of them I mean multiple of them and try and build um, a back wall so I will just grab this them these three I will try and land them on the floor exactly on the floor of course you can press the end so it actually sits on the floor then I will select all of them and I will duplicate them again and move them to the left side and I'll duplicate again and move it to the uh, right side so you can see it's all about we duplicate and we try to change something it's nothing crazy okay so now I will select all of them again and I will duplicate them and move it them to the top to actually um, mimic a wall so yeah I will pull them to the top duplicate them to the top and just like that okay so gradually we are building up the scene and it's not it's not looking bad so um, at this time I want to duplicate this one and now I, I because I need some kind of variations in the wall that I just created I want to take off some um, assets from there and I'll place this one here to kind of give it 
um, some kind of variation between um, in between like in the wall so I will take off um, two of them so this one and I will take that one so I'm holding shift to select uh, multiple objects and I will just push this one in between so it kind of feels like um, it's not just any wall but it got some variations in it it's looking cool now so we have to again keep um, bringing in our assets to keep um, building the scene that we are actually going for so I will select this this one and I'll duplicate it to kind of fill the space just right there so you just realize it's all about we duplicate and we're trying to make it look okay we're trying to fill some spaces so this is one asset so I'll just place it on top because there will be some pillars actually holding that so I will try and fill in all the pillars because the pillars don't come as one asset they are um, they are all um, being um, divided into multiple assets so you have to arrange them on your own so I'll place it just beneath the arc and just right there and I'll bring this one too this is part also part of the pillar so I will bring it and I'll try and fit it right just right beneath the one that I just brought and I'll bring in another one which will just um, try and complete the whole shape to um, get the pillar that we want so we will select everything on the pillar then we will duplicate that to the right side okay so you just realize it's just simple you just keep duplicating you select and you just duplicate because and also I'm gonna duplicate this with these ones the pillar and the arc I'll duplicate them so one and I'll just go another one again so we have another one so again I will just try and duplicate again and we just have another one and yeah so let's do the last one so it kind of gives it a real pattern okay so just right at this point is um, all about I have to duplicate this one because I don't want it to look the same on the left side I will push it to the right side and I will rotate it of course at the end of the day it won't be easy for you to notice it because we will paint the foliage around all these walls the flowers and blah 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 around all these walls so it's not easy to not, um, notice it but we have to do it so I will select this one these ones and I will duplicate them and of course I will move it next to um, that asset right there but I have to rotate it first so after rotating it then I will move it just right there so after I fix um, that just right here that I think we still need more but this time I will go for the walls because I don't need um, the same assets that I been um, trying to get to complete that um, side on beside the um, just right beside the pillars so I will just grab these ones and I will duplicate them and move them so these ones are the um the asset i will use to fill the side of the pillars so you just rotate them and you move them on the y and you move on the x to just get closer to your other asset so you are just gradually we are just building up the scene so from scratch we are just getting we, we just got up here okay so I will just duplicate them and I will switch them to the other side okay and we don't want the back facing our scene so I will 
literally have to rotate and I will move it just right there we will select the floor again and I will you know what I'm gonna do I will just duplicate the floor again so mostly you don't have to just build a whole scene I mean a whole crazy scene just try and build just the simple scene that your camera will capture and just build the simple scene that you capture with your camera unless maybe you are building an open world kind of game or something but for just cinematics and you just need something to capture just try and build that scene yeah because they they do it in um cinemas movies they just set the scene and they just try to shoot you know what i'm saying so it's just the same here so now this is our scene and we need some assets to make the scene more um look cool so here i got all my um flowers all my assets these are from the mega scans library i've actually made it at two times speed because it's just all about painting foliage all around um the asset that, that we just made in our scene so you just go to foliage and you just select the the kinds and the types of foliage that you just need to actually paint on your um in your scene so it's actually a try and error because sometimes the um the scale is not that what you're looking for so you just try and make a nice scale that will actually work for you so i just realized this scale will work for me so i'll just max up the paint density and i'll try and start painting on all over the walls okay so all you gotta do is just paint that's all just trying to fill your scene with all these flowers so after that this is what I got so this is where you have to start placing in your cameras and start placing in your um, light setup and don't forget your fog don't forget your volumetric fog to make your scene look really amazing your god rays right so yeah it was nice um, going over how I made this scene so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and comment and don't forget to share and I'm gonna be with you in the next one and I know I will upload every tutorial that you all requested so yeah stay safe for now I'm out bye